Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> yes! Yes! Babe, you remember you have to pick up Alex from school today, right? <laughs> yes! Babe. Yes! That's what I'm talking about. High score. Peter. Uh, what, Cheryl? I'm talking to you. You remember you have to pick up Alex from school today. I'm working late. Yes, I remember. Gosh, you're so annoying sometimes, Cheryl. Excuse me? Maybe if you didn't sit on the couch all day, I wouldn't have to be so annoying. Uh, I, I do more than that. You're right, let's see. Um, you eat my food, you waste my gas, you spend my money. Yeah, you're right, you do do a lot. Oh, jeez, will you get off of my back, Cheryl? I've already taken care of it, Alex will be picked up. What do you mean you've already taken care of it? Uh, it's open. Hey. Who in the world are you? Cheryl, uh, meet Michaela. M Michaela, meet Cheryl. I thought you said she wasn't gonna be here, babe. Uh, I mean, Peter. Uh, what is she doing here? Well, I didn't think she would be, but uh, clearly she is. Um, I happen to live here, so I can leave whenever I want to leave. What are you doing here, though? Michaela is the new babysitter that I hired. It's nice to finally meet you, Cheryl. I've heard a lot about you. You hired a babysitter? Yeah, I did. You don't have a job, Peter. You have time to be a parent and help out around the house. How am I supposed to find a job if I am off picking up Alex from school and doing a bunch of chores all around the house? I'll be the best thing that's ever happened to you, Cheryl. You don't have to worry. Where did you find her? Online. Online? It seems like you two have been friends for quite some time. <laughs> well, yeah. I, I mean, I had an interviewer and everything. I actually came over last week. That's news to me. How do you expect to pay for this, Peter? Yeah, well, that's what we... I, I, I mean, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. Since I don't have a job right now, uh, I was hoping that you could pay for her. Me? Yeah. Once I find a job, I'll pitch in, of course, then. If. If you find a job, Peter. Oh, Cheryl, oh, would you please stop being so annoying about this? Look, Michaela isn't even charging all that much money. Oh, really? How much are you charging, Michaela? Well, I charge 100 for the day or 300 for the week. Jesus Christ, you must be some babysitter. Just pay her for the whole week, Cheryl. $300 is nothing. That's easy for you to say. You're not going to be the one paying for it. It's my work calling. You're lucky I don't have time to finish this discussion. Alex gets out of school at 3. Don't be late. Oh, you got it. Um, mind if I get my payment up front, though? No. I'll pay you when I get home. Well, I prefer being paid before my services are rendered, though. Plus, what if I have to buy something for Alex? Sure. How is... Michaela's supposed to do a good job if you don't pay her up front. I mean, what if Alex gets sick? I mean, how is Michaela supposed to buy her medicine? Okay, you know what? I'm already running late. You said 300? Yep. Here. And the house better be spotless when I get home, Peter. You hear me? You were right. I told you she'd fall for it. Now we'll be $300 richer every week. Why don't we go out for some drinks to celebrate, huh? I like the sound of that. I missed you, by the way. I missed you, too. Hey, honey. Hey, Mom. Is everything okay? Uh, yeah, but I'm still here. You're kidding. You're still at school? Yeah. Were you supposed to pick me up today, or was Dad? Dad was supposed to... Well, actually, a babysitter was supposed to come get you. There's nobody here. The only cars here are the teacher's cars. <sighs> I knew it. I can just walk home. I'll be fine. What? No, are you kidding? It's like an hour walk. I'm not gonna let you do that. I'll be fine, though. No, I'll just ask off and I'll come pick you up. Are you sure? Yeah, I'll be there soon, okay? Okay.
world is going on? Peter! Peter! Babe, babe, wake up. Wake up. It's 4.30. What? She's home. Come on. Oh my god. Peter! Are you kidding me, Peter? Oh, come on. What's going on? You tell me, what is all this? I don't know, I, I just planned to have a couple drinks and I, I guess things got a little out of hand. Where's Michaela? Uh, I don't know, I guess she went to pick up Alex or something. I picked up Alex, she's in the living room. Well, okay, well, maybe she got lost or, or she's stuck in traffic or something. What? Are you sleeping with the babysitter, Peter? What? Come on, that, that's crazy. Come on. We'll see. See, babe, Michaela's not in there. You have nothing to worry about. She just probably went to go pick up Alex. Come on, you just need to relax a little bit. Besides, weren't you working until 10 p.m. tonight? I'm going back to the office right now. And I want this mess cleaned up when I get home. <sighs> yeah, I'll take care of it. Yeah, like you take care of everything else, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, like, when you go, take Alex with you. I don't want her here around all this mess. The biggest mess here, Peter, is you. I suggest you clean yourself up. Come on, honey, you're gonna come with me to work. I think I should stay behind, though. What, are you kidding? No, you can do your homework in my office. I, I can help Dad clean up this mess. Your father is a grown man. He can clean it up by himself. It isn't fair how he treats you, though. He takes advantage of you, and he walks all over you. I know, but he's your father. Hopefully, one day, he'll get himself together. What if he doesn't, though? What if he continues to hurt you? Well... We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Now come on, come with me to my office. I want to stay, Mom. I don't want you to. Come with me. Okay, they're gone. Finally. That was a close one. Yeah. I had to hide in the closet. That was close. I'm gonna go grab some water. You want some? Yeah, let me grab my shirt and I'll join you. Okay. Next time we have to set an alarm. Next time we can't drink so much. <laughs> uh, why don't we go out and grab some food in a bit? Are you hungry? Oh, I'm starving. Maybe you can take me on that romantic date that you talked about. <laughs> yeah, I like that idea. Alex! Oh, honey, this is not what it looks like. Alex, Alex, this is a misunderstanding. Delete that! Mom! Mom, I have oh to show God. you something. Alex, is everything okay? I stayed behind to make sure Dad would clean like I said I would. Look what I saw. Oh my God. Dad is cheating on you, Mom. I can't believe this. Honey, honey, wait. Wait, don't believe this kid. It's not what you think it is. You're a liar. No, you are the liar. Honey, Alex is making this all up in her head, okay? Oh, really? How do you explain this then? That, that is just a misunderstanding, okay? Don't listen to him. I heard them talking too. You shut your mouth. You are grounded, do you hear me? Don't talk to my child that way. I work day in and day out just so you can turn on me? After all I do for you, this is how you treat me? Cheryl, it is not what you think. I'm not stupid, Peter. You know what? Fine. Believe whatever you want to believe, okay? I'm out of here. Where are you going? We're not done here. Yes, we are, okay? I'm taking my stuff, and I'm leaving you for Michaela, okay? Hold on. You cheat on me, and now you're breaking up with me? Yeah. Yes, all you do, day in and day out, every day, is nag and complain. You have a responsibility, Peter, to your family. To Alex. Not anymore, I don't. I'm not raising some snitch.
Peter decides to leave Cheryl and his daughter for an adventurous life with Michaela. He leaves them both heartbroken. After mourning for weeks, Cheryl decides that it's finally time to move on. While Peter continues to party with Michaela, Cheryl works hard and raises Alex on her own. Her hard work gets her a promotion at work, and her dedication to her daughter gets Alex top of her class. Now unfortunately for Peter, things ended up turning out much worse. His laziness prevented him from getting a job, and he ended up dragging Michaela with him, until one day, she decided to leave him for a better life. After a few years, an unlikely visitor arrives at Cheryl's door. Cheryl. Peter? Cheryl, honey, I'm sorry. It was wrong of me to treat you and Alex the way I did. I'm better now. I, I want us to be a family again. I don't need you, Peter. I never did. And Alex is doing much better now that you're not in the picture. We're happy now. And I want you to be happy too, just not with me. Cheryl, I've changed. Please, give me another chance. Honey, who's this? Who am I? Who are you? Peter, this is my husband, Mark. Husband? Oh my god, is this your... Yep. He's exactly what I envisioned him to be. Cheryl, how could you treat me like this? Mark might not be Alex's father by blood, but he's a better father than you ever were. He cares about me and Alex and everything you took for granted. How could you leave me this way? I didn't leave you. You left us. Cheryl, I've changed. Let me show you off. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You need to back up, man. You're too late, Peter. No. Is that dad? Alex? Alex, honey, is that you? Oh my god, you're so big now. How about you come out over here and give your old man a big hug, huh? I was just telling your mom I want us to be a family again. How does that sound? Sorry, Dad, I, I love you, but we already are a family, and this family's a lot better without you in it. Goodbye, Peter. Cheryl, Cheryl. I want nothing but the best for you. Cheryl, please. Alex, honey. Can we still go out to dinner tonight, Mom? Oh, honey, I completely forgot. Mark has to work late tonight. I do, but I can make things work, Pumpkin. Let's go have a nice family night out, huh? <laughs> family isn't always blood. It's about the people in your life who want you in theirs. The ones who would do anything to see you smile and who love you no matter what.